drumming, it's gonna slug him up. I'ma rock out the whole 30 if you try to buck up, make him all right, what's going on this bitch man it's my fucking boy manny yeah hell sing luciano whatever the fuck you want to call me i do not really give a fuck like i said once again today we're gonna be reacting to my boy charles to white once again i'll react to this nigga all day if i got to i don't give a fuck bro if you are not a fan of charles to white you are a hater period nigga you clearly only want to hear shit that you want to hear and not what you need to hear so with that being said and understood uh, Say Cheese reposted a, a previous interview that he had with Charleston White that I was supposed to uh, watch, but I said, fuck it, let's react to it. Charleston White on Quano Rondo, he quotes, nobody chased Eric Holder when he shot and if they all ran. Um, if, you, if you've been updated with Charleston White, you understand what he mean. He's been stressing this point for goddamn I don't know how long. He will not let this shit go that they, ain't nobody chase eric holder when he shot nip and how people are trying to look as king von as a god when in reality eric holder is a god in his eyes because he took out a gangster if that makes any sense if you watch charleston white then you know what the fuck i'm talking about period with that being said let's get right to this fucking video charleston white you the goat nigga <laughs> this isn't the first time a rapper then got into some real shit and left the gang. Six nine is is is, is six nine and Quando Rondo recently. Oh, uh, I, I wouldn't I I I I wouldn't compare six nine and Quando Rondo. Yeah, I wouldn't either. That oh, don't make homie, man, they I would kidnap six nine. They set up his own kidnapping. They were fucking his baby mama. <laughs> God damn, I'm supposed to be loyal. <laughs> All oh, my life, bro. I ain't gonna cap. The more he restresses what 6ix9ine went through with his crowd, the more I try to think from a third perspective. Like, damn, what the fuck would I do if all my niggas backdoored me when I was paying them for protection? But yeah, while I'm paying them for protection, they fucking my bitch. Ain't it giving the money that I'm paying them and giving it to my bitch? Like, what the fuck would I do? Nigga, I might snitch. I ain't gonna cap. God damn, it hurts me to say that shit, but it's like, nigga, god damn. Nigga, y'all fucking my baby mama. Y'all kidnapped me. Oh, bro. God damn, nigga. Y'all y'all saying I'm this supposed to be lost to, to this ass. shit. Nah, homie. God damn. So think about Quando Rondo, homie. This nigga in the car, he gets shot. Look at his reaction. I never they even seen that video. They want him to say, wipe them turtles. By Quando Rondo, homie. This nigga in the car, he gets shot. Look at his reaction. They want him to say, wipe them turtles and go put in work. And days later, everybody's saying, well, nigga, if you just would have checked in, they giving you a hint that they done this to you. I'm supposed to still stay down with this shit. That's why I speak against this shit, homie. Facts, that's real. When does the hood let a nigga grow up, homie, and be free from the hood obligation? That's facts, I just seen bro. my nigga get killed. That's so facts, bro. That's so facts. When does the sentence end? When does the mentality of that sentence end? Like, am I supposed to just stay in this community because you guys don't want me to grow? Like, I find it funny that it's some niggas that genuinely fall in love with this shit. Like, niggas don't even... It's so many niggas right now that can rap. It's so many niggas that can jug and finesse and come up with that shit that they jugging and finessing with. But instead, they have, they done fell in love with sitting in a fucking trap house, smoking weed, doing lean, whatever they may fucking do. Yeah, bro, that's all they know. They don't believe in anything else because that's all they fucking know. That's all they surround themselves with. And how do I know that? Because I used to be in a similar situation when I used to just sit in the house all fucking day with my niggas and get high. And it used to be like six, seven of us. And we all complaining about how we need to get to the next step in life. But yet, none of us are trying to take the initiative to do that because we all scared of uncomfortability. That's when I knew I had to get away from that shit. And every since I got away from that shit, I'm here now and I'm more consistent. You at homie? What if I want to give my life to God? I still got to get beat? For real, that shit crazy. What if I want to submit to Allah? I still got to get beat to get out. I swear the way he puts what it is different. What debt do I owe y'all? What debt do I owe y'all? And what debt do the gang owe? Yeah. What that's... debt do the gang owe that they paying? For Facts. so many people they done killed. For them to say, if you want out, we go beat on you. Jay Stone is a coward. And every boy and every man and every male that honors that gang rule is a coward. Nipsey Hussle was a coward. <laughs> every dead ass serious, bro. Was a coward. 
The people around Nipsey Hussle when he died was a coward. Remember, boys and girls, did nobody jump in front of that bullet for Nip? Go back and watch the video. They all took out running. Yeah. Cowboy didn't run over there. Didn't nobody chase after that nigga? Didn't nobody chase after Eric Holder? That nigga came back and kicked Nip in the head. Mm -mm -mm. That nigga came back and kicked Nipsey in the head, homie. Didn't nobody chase that nigga down? That's crazy. Didn't nobody know who- And it's like, Nipsey had a position of such hierarchy, and it's like for him to still be just taken out like that, and then a nigga come back and kick that nigga head, what more of power could you possibly want in this game of gang violence when people like Nip are still dying? This nigga was head chief damn near, was smart, still died. So it's like, what are you really asking for out of this shit besides an ego boost? Hood went to getting on the phone, say, say, man, that nigga went this way. Did nobody have no. Touch your facts, bro. They went and killed one of his innocent family members. Them niggas cowards, homie. So fuck what Jay Stone talking about. <laughs> what Quando Rondo did is what most good hearted people do. When somebody yeah. they love die, enough is enough. Yeah. If I see this, homie, it, I got to have a breaking point. Why does prison have to be my breaking point? Because I don't need to break when they go to prison. They become friends. On God, because every time a nigga go to prison, the first thing they come out doing is preaching Allah and Yahawashi and et cetera. And nothing against people that believe in that religion and that doctrine. But it's like, damn, is that what it's going to take for a nigga to really wake up and realize what the fuck he was doing was actually a waste of time? Ah, uh, man. I guess gel is needed, I guess. And alliances with their enemies. To stand my homie, it, I got to have a breaking point. Why does prison have to be my breaking point? Because all them niggas break when they go to prison. Facts. They become friends and alliances with their enemies. To stand against the Mexicans and the whites. Yep. Facts. Facts. I mean, honestly, bro, uh, with, with this video only being so short, he says so many things that, bro, that shit will go over people's head about. Like, man, he couldn't be more transparent. Period. Why the fuck nobody chase Eric Holder, I guess? Like, why is it so significant when a rapper dies compared to when a person downtown in Chicago dies? What makes it so different? Because he had viral music with hella views? What makes his life any more significant than the other person that we didn't know of? Like, that's the question we need to be asking because now we're giving our energy to things that we're not even conscious of. But, hey, fuck it. That's what y'all like to do. Hey. So, anyways, with that being said, I'm done with this video. Shout out Charleston White. I'm going to keep posting videos, doing reactions to you, my nigga. Um, shout out to the people that showed love to that last video when I reacted to Charleston White. I really appreciate it. Let's keep this shit going. Let's respark this channel like it was back then. And, yeah, I'm gone, nigga. I ain't going. I'm in the hell can't fly. These little niggas be, these little niggas be lying. These niggas be dying.